Max Historica. Good morrow to you. I am Lord Fillington the Third, and welcome to my medieval castle. Throughout history, lords and kings have built castles and walls to keep people out. I built my castle to protect my prize collection of snow globes. I have so very many, and they're all mine. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, hello! You down there, you can't come in. This is my castle. And throughout history, there have been people who've been wanting to get into those castles because Lord Fillington has been hogging all the snow globes, and I'd... well, I'd like to look at them. But the odd part is figuring out how to get into the castle, because I can't just come up to the wall and start hammering on it. Huh? Taste the wrath of my water balloon! Because... because if I get too close to the castle, he can get me. Ha 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 ha! Fortunately, there's this thing called a catapult. Oh, fiddlesticks. They have a catapult. What you do is you put something heavy in the end here, and the catapult fires it at the walls of the castle, knocks them down, all from far enough away that the people in the castle can't get to you. Ah! Oh, I surrender! Don't knock my walls down! Uh, it'll take me all week to fix them. Oh! All right, all right, you can have a snow globe. Oh. <laughs> and that's how catapults were used in history. Oh, so beautiful. <laughs> Back to our maxed out catapult. Our first design threw a pumpkin just like it was supposed to, except it only threw it one third of the way to the wall. Now Zach and I are planning to outfit the catapult with a sling. The sling attaches to the end of the throwing arm and gives the pumpkin a lot more distance to travel. Because the pumpkin is traveling a longer distance in the same amount of time, it will be going faster, which will hopefully get it to the wall, or at least a lot farther than before. So we built this sling. How does this work, Zach? Well, we've got one end tied here. Yeah. And then we put the pumpkin in here. Wait, wait. OK, pulling arm down. Pulling arm down. <sighs> OK, yeah, now what? Now we put the pumpkin in here. Put the pumpkin in there. And yeah. And we loop this over the back of the, oh. over that. As the throwing arm goes up, this will slide off the back of the throwing arm and it will release the pumpkin. All right, you're the expert, I believe you. Let's try it out. Three, two, one. Oh. Whoa. OK. That Better. works really well. You know what the problem is, though? We still don't have enough oomph. Yeah, it needs more power. Need, well, so what do we do? Should, I don't know if we can crank that rope anymore. Uh, I think we're at the limit of our rope power, but if we added some more elastic. I thought we weren't going to use elastic. Well, we used elastics in our small demo models. So what if we use some more? We have got, elastics? Uh, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I brought have... some in here just in case. What's this? It's uh, surgical tubing. It's like a giant elastic. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess this is elastic force. So do we, do we twist well, here, it we around can... at the bottom there? Well, or? we just wrap it around the throwing arm like this. And... Oh, I see. So we tie yeah. it here. Yeah, we just need a lot more, and then... And then we pull this, and it would be... Oh, yeah, that would yeah. make a lot more. So we just need a lot more of this elastic... Uh, what, is, what is this again? Surgical tubing. Surgical tubing. It's like a giant elastic. Fantastic. All right. Goggles on. Goggles on, yes. Yes. Mini Here's another fun way you can play with elastic force. Take a milk carton... I prefer Science Max Milk because it's the creamiest. 2% cream, 100% science. Wrap some elastic bands around it with some popsicle sticks on the bottom, sort of like feet. Then take some clamshell packaging, which wraps just about anything you buy nowadays, and cut out a square or a rectangle. Then wrap some tape around that square with an elastic in it and put the elastic on the feet of your milk carton. Then wind it around and make sure you go backwards so your paddle wheel boat will go forwards when you put it in the water. And there you go, a paddle wheel boat. Now it is time to max it up. Ahoy, the SS maxed out elastic force paddle wheel boat. 
mattress. I need, I need a, a better name. But I've made a giant paddle wheel boat that will work on elastic force because I've got surgical tubing as my elastics, and that's an air mattress. And then I use some lumber to hold it all together. And of course, I need a paddle wheel. And what better thing to use in a pool than a flutterboard? OK, here we go. So normally, you're not allowed to wear your clothes and your shoes in the pool, but I got special permission because of science. Besides, I'm not worried at all, so I didn't wear my swimming outfit because I figure I can totally do this entire experiment without even getting wet. That is how confident I am. All right, now the tricky part, we'll be getting onto the mattress. OK, here we go. Ha <laughs> ha, whoa. It's a great name for this. Look, it works great. And I managed to stay totally dry. Huh? Well, almost. Whoa, oh, oh. Haha, <laughs> you thought I was going to fall in the pool, but I didn't. Uh oh. My flutterboard has, has stopped moving, and I'm, I'm in the middle of the pool. Almost. Yeah. Didn't think this through. No. 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 No, that's not going to work. Maybe I'll... Maybe I'll wait. Our maxed out catapult was working well with the sling we attached to it, but it still didn't make it all the way to the wall. Zach's idea is to attach a bunch of surgical tubing to the cross piece of the catapult. Surgical tubing is pretty much big elastics, so we'll have two places we're getting elastic force from, the rope and the surgical tubing. Hopefully this design is enough to help our catapult fling a pumpkin far enough to hit the castle wall. All right, here we go. Uh, you hold that, I get this. We got our system down now. Okay. Oh. This goes up to there. Okay. Okay. Three, two, one. Uh, nope. <laughs> one, two, three. Oh. <laughs> it went too far. We are, that's so good. Oh man. Right. Okay, yeah. so all we gotta do is move the catapult back. So you get that side, I'll get this side, and we'll move the catapult. See, now our catapult is too good. We gotta back it away from the castle. All right, let's go again. Aha, pumpkin. Pumpkin. Pulling arm back. Pulling arm back. Uh, Grunting. Floating. Pumpkin. <laughs> Hooking rope on arm. Hooking rope on arm, more grunting. More grunting. Urgh! Pulling back strongly. One, two, three. <laughs> oh, 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 wow. <laughs> Woo. We're inside the castle. We're still inside the castle. Oh, man. It's an excellent shot, though. So what do we do, move the catapult back? Yeah. Move the catapult back. What right about so here? here. Here we go again. Pumpkin. Pumpkin. Loading arm. Loading arm. Food. All right, you ready? You think it's going to work? We've, got, we've done every modification we can possibly do. So you think it's going to work this we time? We did it. It's going to work. OK, here we go. I'm excited. All right, ready? Ready. One, two, three. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! High fives! Well, there you have it. Awesome job. Now we need to throw fingers to see who gets to rebuild the castle. Okay? One, two, three! Oh. Thanks very much for joining us. Let's take a break. I'll rebuild the castle. 
<laughs> you see, this is exactly how catapults used to work. They'd hit the same part of the wall over and over until they made a big hole, and that would weaken the wall. Fortunately for me, it's really easy to fix. Uh, just put this right in here. Oh, man. Uh, the pool will be closing in five minutes. No, no, I'll do it. No, no, I'll wait you last Taste the wrath of my water balloon! I don't believe it really sells it if he doesn't smash the water balloon. Does he? Good morrow to you! <laughs> I got my feather in my, my face. Oh, you gotta be kidding me!